on the uh. Yeah, uh, listen, I told you give them something visual So you in the head and made your own YouTube-based TV show It's an array of IPAs and fighters on the rope Got a question, put them in your comment section right below Barbershop talk while you're sitting in your living room Pacquiao, Mayweather, and we can't forget the bruise Coming to you live with the scoops like a ladle Allow me to introduce the boxing round table All right, here we yeah. go Going off the Rollo cuff now, y'all so, do it like we usually do it. Finna grab me a brewski. Yo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, go ahead. So, nigga, I'm a man, bro. Hey, I'm telling you right now, dog. They ain't gonna see it ain't fuck with no Keith Thurman, dog. I don't even think he'll fuck with Sean Porter, dog. I'm telling you, when I, when I look at them niggas and look at the caliber of... Uh, uh, the skills and it's like Porter has gotten better. Has I'm shocked. This is what I'm shocked about. Porter has gotten better, even though he hasn't fought in such a long time, dog. And this segment of the round table is brought to you by Shorts Brewing. Life is too shorts. Get you some Shorts Special Village Reserve Brew. I don't know what I mean. What what do you what do you want? What are you looking for? I mean, Danny Garcia. Versus, uh, I mean, what y'all think? Y'all think? Y'all think? Yeah, I, I, y'all think think, we y'all think this is level in a fight too? The motherfucker. I'm trying to. I still got Danny Garcia over Sean Porter. I still got Danny Garcia over Sean Porter. He man, this is my uh, thing, bro. That nigga Danny Garcia. That kind of, that kind of, yeah, you know, that kind of battle that that nigga been in. That, that kind of battle that that nigga been in, bro. Like the battle that they was in last night. I didn't see Danny Garcia in a kind of battle like that with way fucking lesser opposition, bro. You know what I'm saying? Danny Garcia has some shit like that shit like that going on with Herrera. So what you what what you think gonna happen when he get in there with a quality opposition like Tom Porter or uh, Keith Thurman? Man, I don't think he can he can handle it. I don't think he can. He, I mean, he, he ain't knocking him out. You know what I'm saying? And he he's slower than him. Like I just I, I can't see it. Yeah, I don't think he beat Keith Thurman at all. Ain't hey? Keith Thurman ain't on the table for me and Danny Garcia. That's a decent fight for Keith Thurman. I'm talking about Sean Porter beating um, Danny Garcia. I'm not ready to lay that claim. I think it makes it closer based on the performance. But Danny Garcia throw good um, if you come in aggressive. You know what I'm saying? I think Danny Garcia may have a problem with um, guys that, that box. He does real good when you come in on him. And I would like to see what happens when Sean Porter try to bull rush him. Now, Porter Bull works, but he needs to work on being countered. If he didn't get countered all night and, and, and hit with big shots from uh, Keith Thurman, then I, I'll see or say different. But Danny Garcia throws very, very good uh, hooks in between your punches in, in the uh, firefight. So that's his strength. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, like I said, I think it's Danny to beat Porter, but. I, I'm, the only reason why I go with Porter because I I think I think Danny will have to will have to knock Porter out because if he doesn't knock Porter out, then that means that Porter is going to be all up on him. I, I haven't seen Danny Garcia against the mauling style yet. I don't know how he will react against a mauling yeah. full fled, full fledged welterweight. You know, Danny Danny Danny. I think I think it's only a couple full fledged welterweight. I think. Earl Spence is full fledged. Kel Brooks, uh, uh, Keith Thurman, and Sean Porter. I think those are the only full fledged welterweights to where you're going to feel some strength with those guys. And I think those other guys, like Keith Thurman said, are smaller guys that moved up. Um, and, 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 and I think, and I think Danny Garcia may have some trouble with uh, that Marlin style, man. Because one I thing did, about that Marlin style, think so does, too. it wears you. Hey, it wears you down I, physically. Hey, this is where I, I want to say this real quick. I think that I think Trump Porter did a good, great, great job against Keith Thurman, but I got to see him do this one more time to make sure that he's going to keep up with his style because he might have rose up to the occasion and fight Keith Thurman, and because he's familiar with him, that might be the fluke. So I know yeah. Keith Thurman has sustained himself with his style and improved every fight. Trump Porter now he just won a fight removed from being sloppy. Now, yeah, that's hopefully, yeah. that's hopefully he can do this again because he went to the hospital. 
And like I said, the, the cliche answer to give is he's dehydrated. I'm willing to bet that he Thurman took some out of that man's soul because <laughs> that was a grueling fight. And you can say you were dehydrated all the time or whatever. I I be cool, yeah. but that man ended up going to the hospital. I don't know how I don't know how a top athlete like that get dehydrated in a situation where you go to a corner and you are and you can get water too. But 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 anyway, so I took out your ass. Yeah. I don't. I don't think he's hydrated. I think. I think physically he was. Yeah, I, I think so too. too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 that nigga was taking. nigga took some hellacious he took shots. Some big shots. Hey man, me and my yeah. old lady was sitting here watching this shit, man. We couldn't figure out how this go down. We just couldn't figure out why he yeah. made it to the end of the fight, man. You know what I'm saying? I just, I so tried, y'all, man. So y'all, oh, so y'all thinking that he 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 may have suffered some military Taylor type shit. Uh, I wouldn't say major. Well, you know what? Uh, I don't know about. To, well, to be honest, to, well, to be honest, you, but you level. know what? I think that both fighters probably went to the hospital because it was that kind of fight. Not necessarily because something was wrong, probably. but just a precautionary thing. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, a fight like that, most times both guys go to the hospital just for precautionary. So, well, well, it, see, it, but look, the only thing about that, the only thing about that is when. When they do go to the hospital, a lot of times you don't know. When somebody come out and give you a reason why they went to the hospital, then there's something wrong. Well, sometimes he might have went early. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I think they kind of do their thing at the arena in the locker room or whatever. But I remember watching an interview last night, uh, Ken Porter. I disagree with that. Wait, wait, wait. I disagree with that. Because you want to be there with a the performance. Wait, 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 wait. Now, I do remember, I remember Ken Porter. Somebody pulling him away saying, you know, I'm saying, oh, shit, I got to go, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I think that Sean Porter probably went early in the sense of, hey, I think something wrong. I need to go to the hospital. Now, what I'm saying with usually with these types of fights, if you feel OK, probably stick around, do all your interviews and shit, and party in the locker room. Then once you're done, maybe an hour later or so, you might check, go check to a hospital and have a physician check you out. Um, I mean, I've known it to happen twice in the past. But, I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I mean, I know that that has happened. So I'm just speculating. You know, I, I'm no shit, you know, no more than nobody else. Yeah, and my, my speculation is, one, I disagree with that. Because uh, if you was truly okay and it was some slight work and you were going through a precautionary type of checkup, okay, you could have waited until after the press conference. You could have really sat down there. This is your friend. Y'all could have talked about it, laughed, you know, had a good time. We've seen this happen over and over where guys have had grueling fights and they were okay. You know what I'm saying? And they did their post-fight press conference and then they went to the hospital as cautionary measures. But I don't think that that's why he, I don't think it was precautionary. I think it was something got took out of him. Now, I didn't, yeah, I didn't, me wrong no, it. I didn't say that. So, yeah, I said he probably went I early. Didn't say what you said. I didn't say I didn't say nothing. I'm not, listen, Aaron, I'm not saying what you didn't say or not. So I'm telling you what I am saying. Saying a rebuttal to what you're saying. Yeah. I'm saying that I think, I think that he went to, uh, and if your opinion falls in that, then I But I'm not talking about your opinion. What I'm saying, in my opinion, is he went to the hospital. I believe that because of that type of fight, I believe that Keith Thurman took something out of him more so than Porter took out of Keith Thurman. Yeah, that's true because once I'm, because I'm, I'm pretty sure after a fight like that, that both combatants are, are going to eventually go to the hospital. But like Zone said, you at least sit down at the podium, talk it up, talk about the fight, and, if, and then Sean Porter, you forget, at, at the end of the fight, Sean Porter said he thought he won. Wouldn't you want to go to the press conference and and, and, re-invert and and say that again? I thought I won the fight. Like you look, like I, I believe something. I believe something was taken out of him. I, I believe he was hurt. I just believe, yeah. I, I'm serious. I, I I just believe he was hurt. Okay. That's what I believe. Okay. And I think okay. people 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 stated that too. Like man, you know, I, a lot of people generally said, man, I hope man ain't got taken out of both of them fighters. And I thought that too, but seeing how Keith Thurman does for us, because what, Keith Thurman got the cut over his eye, they say he needs uh, six days of rest for the, the cut the heel, six days, the stitches to be out. He could get back to the gym. Now, this is the same guy. Now, this is another thing about these knockouts. Now, this is the same guy that came off a car accident where the uh, whip, where he experienced whiplash. 
So him coming into the fight of that long layoff, even though Sean Porter had a long, long layoff, Thurman's coming off an injury. Now, I know a lot of people may believe it or not, but whatever the case may be, the man is coming off a layoff, and I believe that he really did have a car accident and think it was fabricated. And that, that could alter whether he truly got the knockout or knocked down or whatever the case may be, too. Now, John Porter's been working out for over a year, getting in good work, staying true to the fight with Keith Thurman. He firmly was staying true to the fight with Sean Porter, but in the back of your mind, man, you got to remember that the guy still had a suck with whiplash. And that, that little small thing there, which is a big thing, could have determined whether he stopped him or not. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if it affected anything, but just coming now, you tell me you come off a car injury, car accident, whiplash, and the doctor tells you you got spinal tears, and you work your way all the way back in, it's quite one of the top worst ways that has a ball and brawl and style, and you still whoop them. That's 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 speak, speak volumes about Keith Thurman to me. And I know um and I, I was I was concerned way back when Sean Porter had fought Kell Brook, man, that maybe, you know what I'm saying, he had discouraged him and kinda, you know what I'm saying, took something out of him, you know what I'm saying, from him losing man, but motherfuckers came back from that bro and, and it was just like right there at the top. Man. It's just like only going like I don't think that he got some got took out of him. Man, I just feel like if you're gonna beat Tom Porter, you're gonna have to be a top motherfucking fighter on your A game, stepping that ring to beat him. I mean, you're gonna have to really work to beat him, man. Like you, you're gonna you're gonna have to, man. The dude, hey, I mean, he's shown that he's gotten better. With fights and you know, I made uh, uh, adjustments and stuff like that, man. But it was just like just lost to a you, you slightly know what very better well fight. He, he very well may could have been. He might have been better off going down and around the two because he took a lot of hellacious shot, man. He took some shots, man. I just couldn't believe that he stood up for man, and he was getting touched up often. Boxology, yeah. And you got to hit mute, dog. All I hear is wind blowing. Oh, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. But it, it, uh, they have more punishment almost. Now, you know what, man? Listen, I got to say, I think that probably was like, hey, man, right? Right now. Probably, probably started feeling that shit that later on. Be honest, man. Some of the fucking body shots Thurman was. But I was like, it was a few times he, I'm like, I done seen Thurman body shot. I don't give a fuck how many, how many sit-ups, egg raises, all of that shit. You're hitting the right spot, man. That shit gonna hurt. Fuck that nigga coming in. That body, man. I don't, man. Motherfucker Sean Porter, stuff like a Mexican. At least in this fight, he Maybe that might be his downfall. Drop goal. Well, it was a good fight. I'm just going to see. I'm watching that. That's something that I'm watching. You know what I'm saying? As a boxing fan, to really truly see if anything was taken out of him. But like I said, I could be proven wrong with the next fight. I mean, Sean Porter may come back better than ever, stronger than ever. But I'm definitely going to be watching him uh, to make sure he don't decline because uh, I feel like Keith Thurman took a lot out of um, Solo Karaj. Solo Karaj is hasn't been the same. Um, he's physically they haven't been the same, even if they get a win. Robert Guerrero hasn't really been the same since. Um, Diego Chavez haven't really been the same since. They're still competitive, but I just feel like Keith Thurman takes a lot out of people, and that's why you get a lot of people quitting on the stool. Diaz is retired. Um, <laughs> Diaz is retired. Uh, your boy Colazo quit on the stool. Um, and your boy Carlos Santana retired after fighting Keith Thurman. Um, so I think he takes a lot out of fighters, man. And you talking about getting hit for 12 rounds. You man got hit for 12 rounds in the head with some big shots. You don't know if a dude riding on fumes, off a high, off of drilling. That don't mean damage is not still being done to you as you fight. He could just be purely, could, Sean Park could have been really going off just a drilling. Yeah, the you know, drilling went down. You, you start feeling yeah, that. Yeah, that's you when you feel that shit. Hey, I got a question for the table, though. I got a question for the table, man. Because this, like, and this is for everybody, man. 
uh, go around the horn. Do y'all feel like this is potentially a modern day Hagler Hearns with no knockdowns or knockouts? Twelve round modern day Hagler Hearns with, with no knockdowns. Yes, I believe so. I believe so. Yeah, without no, yeah, without knockdowns and it going all twelve. Uh, so these guys fought with high energy, high. See, Paulie Malnagy kept on making a great point. He was saying. See, Sean Porter, with that Marlon style, he has to realize he's fighting a full-fledged welterweight. Same thing when he fought Carol Brook. He went to the hospital. I don't know if people realize that, but he went to the hospital after that, too. But uh, he's fighting a full-fledged welterweight, so your force and their force are going to meet. You're going you're gonna to drain yourself, too, because you used to maul those little guys like myself, but mm-hmm. you were there with a full-fledged welterweight, and, that's, and, that, and that takes a lot of that out of you physically and plus he was getting hit with big shots at the same time so yeah i believe that yeah, this was a modern day yeah hagler hearns hagler hearns I, I wouldn't say i, mean, I wouldn't say hagler, hagler hearns, i wouldn't say Ray Leonard. go ahead i would say after notice i said the hagler hearns that went 12 rounds with no yeah. knockdown I, I know what you're saying. I know he, he's saying metaphor. Nah, he, he, I know what you're saying, man. Like, nah, did he, what? I know exactly what you're saying. Yes, because like I said, man, we had no bitch fits, no bitch assness. It was a clean, <laughs> solid fight. Nobody pulled out. You had the whole atmosphere of his. He started ducking because he had an incident. The man came back off the incident and fought Sean Porter. Sean Porter didn't go away from the fight and say, well, whatever. These guys playing games. They fought. You know what I'm saying? And it came off pretty, man. Live in HD on regular TV. You can't get no better than that. Like you said, every piece of this fight was action-packed. Every second, every round, it was back and forth. He Thurman walked, a lot of people talking about Sean Porter, but he Thurman walked him down a lot in the fight as well, too. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's up there. This is one of yeah. the best fights I've seen, you know, in a long time. The ebb and flow, man. The action was never, nobody never gained control of the action. Time and it definitely was no round dominated the whole round. None of that shit. But no blows. Felt like, oh, this nigga acting like a. And this nigga keep Thurman out on his bike for like eight seconds and crowd just start booking. I ain't get that, dog. I'm like, these niggas is having an excellent ass fight. And the nigga, I mean, it ain't like the other nigga didn't do it in the fight too, but. I mean, everything, every every component and element of this fight, beautiful. Age that these people that point in their careers, like you said, wasn't no bitch assness, it wasn't no politics, no A side, B side, none of that. Book. And it was on fucking TV, free TV. There was nothing. Mm, not right. about this shit, That's dog. a crazy nigga. We deserve this shit. We yeah, deserve we do. this. We do. Yeah, this was this was our gift. Boxing, this fight last night. This was the gift to us. Thank you, Al Heyman. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm actually curious to what the ratings did, man. This, this reminds me of uh, when uh, the first Ultimate Fighter in, in the UFC, where you had the uh, main event of two guys fighting so so intensely that people just start turning to the shit and just instantly became um, UFC fans overnight. You know what I'm saying? And what I'm hoping, like, that type of fight, especially on the network that it was on, I really pray that the same shit happened, and we just had, you know what I'm saying, just fucking had an extra million worth of fans that just became fans overnight just on the strength of watching these two dudes, man. And I'm going to say one thing, man. I'm going to point out something I love about this. I loved about this fight, bro. It was like every round... I would see like like say it would be a you would see a point around where you got Sean Porter, he's he's mauling Keith Thurman up against the corner and shit, right? And then I'm like, okay, damn, and Porter about to get this round, right? And then next thing out of nowhere, you just see Keith fire off the combination in the corner or land some fucking very like I'm talking about some clean ass haymaker punch that you know what I'm saying, back Sean Porter up or wobble Sean Porter or something, you know what I'm saying, later in the round and shit. It was just the back and forth man mm-hmm. was just so Fuck it, man. This shit, man. It was almost like, 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 I was feeling like, like, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, like, man, this shit's almost better than sex. You know what I'm saying? Lifting weights yeah. and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, it's like on that level, nigga. It's just like the excitement, nigga, was just there. You know what, hey. what I'm saying? I'm like, man, this shit, this shit is amazing, bro. You know what I'm saying? 
And you know what? Outside of people disagreeing with the outcome, one thing that I haven't seen anybody say that they did. Every video, every person that I've talked to, absolutely love fight. And well, I got a question too before you make after you make your point. Oh, okay. Well, well, how did y'all score the fight? How, how, how did y'all actually score? I had an eight four for Keith Thurman, but how did y'all have it? I had I'll an eight four. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I was so into the fight, I wouldn't even. I I I, I, I was scoring it probably like up until the fourth round. The fourth, so you didn't score. Round, so, no, 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 I got to the, uh, by one time I got to the fifth round, I had to fight even, right? I had, uh, I think I had Porter win like the first couple of rounds. Then I had, uh, you know, uh, Thurman win the second. But I, I got to the fight by the fifth on up, bro. I just stopped scoring the fight. And, and I'm going to say something about that decision real quick. You know what I'm saying? You go around and how y'all scored the fight. I feel like I, I take that shit with a grain of salt, man, and just on the wayside because I think if their decision would have, they would have been given to Porter. They would have been booing it too and saying, that, you know, same shit. Thurman got robbed or something. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I just think it was just that type of fight. Well, go, I, go, go I, I will say this. Uh, there was a... Uh, I'm at work. Like, as soon as the fight was over. Work was... Following. A lot of people in the... Actually, got robbed. I know fights look but as far as spectator people watch videos and stuff when I got to work I don't think that I've seen anybody video wise say that they thought Porter won but in the arena how did the motherfuckers thought Porter won I just yeah, did you I score it? oh yeah did I had a score I had an 8-4 what you had it? I had an 8-4 I know everybody gonna be ah oh, man well, what, what, what you got, Beto? Four. Yeah. That's pretty much what I had. I, I, I thought it was good.